everyone. Uh, here's another workout for you. This time we'll need a pair of dumbbells. You could also use uh, cans or water bottles, whatever is handy. And of course, if you have any shoulder issues, injuries, you can also opt to do no weights at all. Uh, so this is gonna be, again, 40 seconds of uh, activity, 20 seconds of rest. It goes pretty fast, uh, so it's also, um, you know, good training for the brain because you have to react uh, and understand the movement pretty quickly. Um, I will give us a little more time at the end to transition down onto the floor because the last three exercises will be on the floor. So I'll give you more time for that. As always, please don't do anything that hurts. Um, take breaks as needed. You can always stop the video and, and have a water break. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting um, with a contralateral movement. So we'll be, some of the movements will be on one side, one arm, and on the other side, the other uh, leg. So that's good for our brain. Sometimes we'll be crossing the midline and sometimes we'll use both arms. So we'll uh, get ready in a bit. Uh, this, this time we'll be doing uh, opposite knee uh, and arm movement. So if this is a little too hard for a balance, you can always opt to just keep your toes touching. And then ready, set, go. So either toes touch or lift all the way and balance. Keep breathing. Push that dumbbell up, straighten that elbow. You're doing great. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And you're done with this one. All right, the next one, again, will be across the midline movement. We'll do a lateral lift on one side and lateral lift with the leg. So it looks like this. One, center, two, center. All right, let's go. And you decide how high you want to lift that arm. You could go all the way to parallel to floor or just a little bit. Keep your shoulders away from your ears so you're not overusing the upper neck muscles. And it's quite challenging for the balance as well. So you don't have to rush. A few more seconds. And last one. And you're done. Great work. Okay, so the next one will be step back and a bicep curl. So bicep curl, this movement, elbows in, you're bringing the dumbbells towards your shoulders. So step back, bicep curl, switch legs, bicep curl. Go for it. You can wait until you're back, find your balance, and then curl. More engaged, step that leg back. Balance. Five more seconds. And you're done. Awesome. Okay, so the next one will be a hamstring curl. So lifting your heels up towards your butt and then we'll add opposite arm reach. So right leg curls and the opposite arm reaches. Again, a little bit of balance involved. You could always do it without the dumbbells. No need to 
rush through it, especially if you're using the weights. But if it's easy, you can pick up the pace. Good. Last two. And release. Catch your breath. A nice one will be warrior one with a diagonal chop. So we'll use just one dumbbell. You'll come into that warrior one position. So back heel is down. And we'll go up. And then let's actually do it kind of slow. So feel that stretch as you're reaching up and then twisting down. Very good, keep breathing. Get a good grip on that dumbbell so it doesn't fall on your toes. Five seconds. And you're done. And then other side. So switch legs. And then we'll go up to the right, down to the left. Still have a few seconds to, to breathe. And ready, set, go. So core engaged, slowly twist. Inhale and exhale. Nice deep breath. Ten more seconds. And last one. And you're done with this one. Great job. So uh, now we're going to use both dumbbells again and we'll be doing a squat. So for a squat, hips go back so you still see your toes. And then as you come out of the squat, you're going to punch. Again, either with dumbbells or without. Go for it. Low squat and punch. And again, you're free to Find your own pace. I'm doing it slow, but I'm still breathing pretty hard. If you have heavier dumbbells, it's a good workout. Nice form, so no rounding in the back. Hinging of the hips. Five more seconds. And you're done. Ooh, let's take a break. All right, the next one will be marching. And I'm doing hams, uh, hammer curl. So you're holding your dumbbells as a hammer. Slowly releasing and then bringing towards your shoulders while you're marching. Keep your posture nice and tall, breath flowing. Shoulders away from your ears. And 10 more seconds. And you're done, great job. All right, next one, lunge. Um, okay, so we're gonna lunge forward and the arms will be doing this movement. So elbows in, but you're bringing the backs of the hands back like this. So it's, it's a workout for the back of the shoulder. All right, so lunge and open. Lunge, possibly both knees. You can do it without the dumbbells. Squeeze those elbows in. Open the hands back. Free to start. 
stop the video and take a break if you need it. One more second, last one, and you're done. Awesome. Next, next one. Okay, so we'll do one dumbbell. We'll be in a split stance, so both knees straight, and leg back. Get a good grip on that dumbbell. Now we're gonna try side bending, side to side. Then halfway we'll switch the, the legs. And switch. Other leg forward, both knees straight. And your core muscles have to work hard to keep your balance. A few more seconds. And you're done. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, two more uh, standing. So bend over row on one side. So you're gonna uh, bring one foot forward, the other hand holds the dumbbell, and then you're lifting the dumbbell towards your armpit, the elbow points up. You could also have your hand on a chair, if that works better. You're not opening like that, it's just that arm, your chest faces down, and you're strengthening the upper back muscles and the arm muscles as well. Five more seconds. Great work. And then we'll do the other side. So switch legs, switch arms. Take a few more seconds to breathe. And then slight hinge at the hips. Support yourself with that hand. Nice tall spine, so no rounding. And then pull the elbow, or pull, pull the dumbbell towards your armpit. Elbows go, elbow goes back. Core engaged. done with the standing exercises. So now I'll give you a little bit more time to come down onto your back. So if you need more time, feel free to stop the video, but I'll give you just a few more moments. So we're going to be on, to, on our back and we're going to do a chest press. So coming down, taking your time. Well, really um, get a good grip on those dumbbells. You know, if you have any worries of them slipping out of your hands, then I'd rather you use something much lighter or no weight at all. And then we're gonna be pushing both dumbbells up towards the ceiling. So your knees are bent, core engaged. And then bending the elbows, elbows go out to the side until you, you head the elbows down to the floor and then push up again. Okay, so ready, set, go. So try to straighten those arms fully as you press up. Again, you don't have to rush. Keep breathing. So 
10 more seconds. And you're done. A little break. And then the next one, okay, it will be bridge. So we'll uh, bring the uh, feet parallel so they're pointing away from you. And the bridge is uh, lifting the hips up, right? So one option is to do it without any weight just lifting up and down. So squeezing the glutes and uh, elongating the knees away from you. If you want a little more extra challenge, you could get that weight, put it sort of on your low belly where it doesn't feel um, painful. And then you're lifting with that extra weight. Okay. So set it up. I'll start shortly. And keep your neck somewhat relaxed. So it's really work for the glutes and the legs. And ready, set, go. So one, two, a little bit in the back too. Three. Try looking straight up at the ceiling. Squeezing those glutes. Fifteen more seconds. Almost there. And you're done. All right, take a little break. All right, and the last exercise, we'll try to do a minute and a half of biking. So biking um, with your legs and try to really uh, straighten those legs, maybe go a little bit slower. So it's, it's much easier to do just this, right? Just sort of kicking up and down with your heels quickly than really extending those legs. That's, that requires much more core strength. So, um, you know, if you need a break, uh, of course, take it. Uh, we're gonna start one, two, three, and go. Keep your core engaged, so pressing down through the navel area and low belly. Keep breathing, relax your neck. Now in 30 seconds. So pretty soon we'll be halfway through. And you're halfway through. Go for it, you can do it. All right, only 30 more seconds left so you can Reverse the biking, go backwards. Fifteen more seconds, you can do it. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Good work. Take some breaths. Relax your abdominals, your back, your hip flexors. Nice deep breath. I just feel that sense of accomplishment after this pretty vigorous workout. And then straighten your left leg and uh, bring your right knee into your chest and hold there. And 
And then uh, we're gonna gently guide that right knee over to the left into a twist. You're trying to keep both shoulders down. So you, you decide how far you wanna go into that twist. You're breathing. And then we'll switch sides. So first, just knee straight into your chest, outer leg straight on the floor. You might feel that stretch in the hip flexors in the front of the hip on that straight leg. Invite the breath down into your belly. And then gently and slowly guide that left knee over to the right, keeping your shoulders down. Still deep breath into your belly. And then back to center. And then take a big stretch, arms up and overhead, and little straight legs. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then release. And we're done for today. Great work, everyone. I hope you had fun and uh, I hope you feel energized. All right, see you soon.